Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is the second war of the season, season 26, and it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Presidency. Take a look at them real quick. And I'm going to scout out my path right now. Uh, once again, I'm a little bit late. Just got the reminder because I forgot completely. Um, and it looks like I'm not the only one. As you can see here, the left side hadn't even been touched. All right, so I take path three. And I'm looking here at a Symbiote Supreme on that first node. Uh, shouldn't be a, a problem for uh, any of the champions that I normally bring in. Uh, Warlock, Nick Fury, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, nothing for the second node up here. Then we've got Blade, who should not be a difficult opponent. Uh, then, of course, we got Mixmaster, Domino. Someone else will take that. Uh, then we've got Magneto. Warlock won't be good for that one. Uh, Nick Fury, not so much either. Um, Black Widow Clairvoyant can do it. Uh, if necessary, but I'd probably uh, defer to someone else. I'd rather not take that one with Black Widow. Uh, then Section 2, I also take Path 3. And, oh, I hate fighting Guillotine 2099. Nick Fury, no good. Warlock can do it, but uh, I'll most likely use Black Widow Clairvoyant for this one. Just have to fight her, make sure to keep that digi cloak on cooldown, and we shouldn't have a problem. Then we've got Hulkbuster. Again, that's Black Widow, Clairvoyant. Shouldn't have a problem there. Uh, Nick Fury can do that fight also. Uh, then up here, we've got this Vision Arcus. Uh, we've got to deal with Buffet, the uh, armor boost and the combat power rate strike counter warlock can do that fight uh and that's probably who uh, i would end up using if no one else takes him and then we've got mini boss island and that's really going to depend on uh what shape we're in uh when we get there i usually take the left side if i take any at all but i pretty much take whoever I'm assigned to take uh, like that mojo they may have me try it with uh, Nick Fury but someone else may have a better option like uh, human torch uh, so what normally happens is our backup will come in with counters for all three of them they'll boost up and just do a sweep one move take out all three and then that leaves the left three uh, for the rest of us. So it really just depends on what shape we're in. Uh, so, all right, let's get started. Uh, I'm already late, but like I said, I'm not the only one that was late. All right, so we'll be back with the fighting. All right, we're back and let the fighting begin. All right, so I'm going in with the standard team that I go in with. Uh, Warlock, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Nick Fury. Uh, after scouting out my path, as you saw, I should be able to handle everyone that is on my path, plus maybe a mini or two. All right, so first up, we've got Symbiote Supreme. Now, you know from previous videos, they often leave the first node free and place someone on the second node, but we're actually facing him on the first node. Now, he's got Mystic Ward and all that good stuff. But honestly, with Nick Fury, there's only a couple of things that I need to be concerned with when I'm fighting Symbiote Supreme. Uh, I'm just going all in, first of all. Uh, I don't want to generate buffs. And he doesn't generate a lot of energy, so it allows me to be as aggressive as I really want. Just look at this. He's down before he got his first special one. He didn't even have enough power for the first special one. Okay, so when fighting him, uh, also Doctor Strange, uh, back in the day, that's how I learned to fight Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange used to wreck me all the time. And 
I realized, you know what? I could just go all in, try to finish him off with a lot of damage before he even gets his special, you know? So I could just be crazy aggressive. So I love it. But you don't want to go against him with a lot of buffs. I went up against him uh, when he first came into the contest with my Corvus fully missioned out and almost died in one shot. It was ugly. All right, so uh, we cleared that left side there. I only had the one fight. Uh, my alliance mates took the mini. And here we are sitting at the uh, Magneto. He's at the gateway to Section 2. So I'm about to open up Section 2. Now, I'm not boosting necessarily for this one fight. I'm boosting for my entire path because I know that I'm going to take pretty much every fight that I can take in one go. All right. Now, Magneto got a rework. Most of you already are aware of it. And if you're new, you don't know what he was like before. But right now, you don't want to fight him with a metal champion. And just so happens, Black Widow Clairvoyant is not a metal champion. So he doesn't get the magnetized. So it's a pretty straightforward fight. This is EMP modification. So you still don't want to generate buffs because you're going to get wrecked with the shocks. All right. Passive shocks at that. All right. And you can see I was in Curse of Blood. That's why I was able to heal back up. You see, I'm just taking blocks. I'm not trying to dex. I'm not trying to evade anything. Uh, and mainly that's because I did not change my masteries. I don't like doing that uh, to remove decks. So instead, I went in with a non-metal champion who also has the ability to heal. Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, I was a little nervous about that fight because if I messed up really bad, then I wouldn't be able to use her for the rest of the path like I was planning to. Now, this first one, uh, ideally you want to bleed immune. Well, she's bleed immune in her Curse of Blood phase, which she starts out with. And fighting Guillotine 2099, I really hate it, but I start off with a heavy, she dexes it. I'm like, really? Okay, so we do it again. This time we get her and her Digicloak goes on cooldown. Uh, that's what it's about. I'm keeping an eye on the timer. And then I don't know what's going on, okay? My timing just seems to be off. And I'm like, okay, First, I went for the heavy, she dexed it. Then I go for my special and she's able to block it. It delayed it or I delayed it, I don't know. But we aren't out of the running yet, okay? And so at this point, I really want to go to a spe um, fire off a light ending combo to get to her Curse of Blood so I could heal up, but she didn't have that much health left. So, we just finished her off, and I'm thinking, all right, I should be able to heal up on the next fight. And I want to heal up because you never know when you need your Black Widow Clairvoyant. She's so versatile. Okay, now this one here, explosive personality, so don't hit into their block uh, unless you can nullify. She can actually nullify that Hulkbuster, so it's not as big of a deal for her. Uh, the challenging fights that I've found on this node uh, would be Thing, who you can't nullify, so you definitely don't want to hit into his block. All right, so here I want to heal up, so I'm not going to stay in Curse of Hellfire. I'm going to go rotate into uh, Curse of Blood. All right, so here we go. Boom, Curse of Blood. And then he parries again. I honestly, guys, I don't know what's happening. I, I tried to go right into the special two and it didn't work. And I've been having that problem all that path. And so I just finished him off because I don't know what other shenanigans are going to be going on in this Alliance war. You know, I was ready to blame myself. I'm like, okay, I was just a little slow, um, but it just kept happening, you know? So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know whether it's the game. I don't know whether I was just off this day don't know but we didn't get to heal you saw the plan it fell through and so at this point i'm like man do i really want to take this fight with all of this stuff happening right now you know clearly 
either I'm going just a little too slow or I'm, I'm shortcutting my own special, which has happened before, uh, or uh, the AI is responding faster. I really don't know. So you see, I'm just sitting here thinking about it. And I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. Because I looked at their, um, who they brought, and Warlock is the best option for this fight. So I knew that they were expecting me to take Warlock in against this fight. So you see, I parried and get the infections up. And that's pretty much what you want to do. You want to keep those infections on your opponent. Um, you don't have to deal with that buffet healing them. You see, we're getting the regen, but as long as uh, they have the uh, infections on them, they're not healing. All right. See, all that regen would be annoying if I didn't have a way to counter it. Now, he also gets power gain. You see, he's got a lot of stacks of power gain. And I tried to dex it. I didn't get all of it, but I did reduce some of the damage, I guess. Uh, and he's just getting a lot of power. All right. And that time I said, never mind. I'm just going to block it. You know, don't know what's going on. I can't evade that special. I've seen it evaded fully once. All right. So, you know, we're doing okay here. We want to keep baiting out his specials. And uh, he's almost gone. We just don't want him to heal up. And we got him down. All right. So, not a perfect fight against uh, Vision Arcus with my Warlock, but a decent one. And we were able to get him down uh, in one go. So now the left side is pretty clear. And the fight, the war, is very, very close. All right, we, we're looking at our deaths and uh, officers are calling out, you know, who wants to take what? We are planning out this final uh, strategy here. I was asked, which one did I want to do? Did I want to finish off Tigra or take on that Killmonger? Uh, and I said, you know what? You know, I don't think I have a great option for either of them. However, I'm willing to use an invulnerability boost and I should be able to take that Killmonger. So uh, he was able to bring in counters for Tigra and the boss. So uh, this fight, ideally you want someone that can power control. But my strategy here, since I'm going to be using an invulnerability boost, is a little different. Uh, so... My Nick Fury still has the life model decoy available. So I have a little bit of leeway. All right. Uh, and that's going to help me out if I get into trouble. So the invulnerability boost means that I'll be able to take three hits. If I don't get hit, uh, I can take three special threes. And then, of course, Nick Fury, as long as he has the life model decoy still out, he can tank a special three as well. Uh, so that's the plan. You saw that I was boosting up. I was taking this fight very seriously. And that's pretty much our strategy. We're just going in. Uh, we'll try to bait out. Look at that. He's already had a special two. All right. His unblockable special, but I'm pretty decent at evading that one. Usually I block it, uh, the first part of it. But I'm not doing that this time since it's unblockable. So I'm dashing back. Uh, if I do mess up, I do have the invulnerability boost active. All right. And you can see the bleeds are just doing a righteous work. All right. So here we go. I fired off a special two. Uh, and I'm like, oh, I didn't really mean to do that. But oh, yeah, he's uh, stunned. I was like, well, that's fine. Uh, I have the invulnerability boost active. So you can see no damage, no damage done. And he got less than half his life left. He's not going to survive. Okay. So we're going back to it. And I can actually, excuse me, I don't know what my voice is doing right now. I can actually fire off another special two if I wanted to at this point and tank another special three. Uh, but I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Boom. All right. And he's down. I didn't even worry about the reverberation armor or anything like that. All right. So. That was the last fight that I had for this war. Um, uh, and we've got Tigra being fought, as you can see right there. Uh, so after a little bit of a intermission, we're going to come back and we're going to find out how this war ended.
And we're back. And as you can see, we have less than 20 seconds left to find out how this war ended. Uh, we made some mistakes at the end, so we may have lost this one. Uh, we waited a little too long. And then at the last minute, we had some people panic, take fights that they really should not have taken. So we gave up a few unavoidable deaths. All right. So uh, unavoidable. I mean, avoidable. They were totally avoidable deaths. All right. Let's see how this went. I miss the days when uh, it would actually pop over automatically and show me um, who won. All right. Now, it's not showing up here. So we were a little too fast. All right. Uh, I tried to, um, you know, I tried to refresh it a little bit. Uh, so let's wait a second. Okay. You see the uh, numbers down there. That means that we got the um, in-game mail. Uh, so uh, we should be able to go to the history now. Yep. One is up there. Okay. Yeah. And we lost. All right. So not surprising. See the score there. Um, let's take a look here. Yep. Yep. Now, see, we got them on the attack bonus. Uh, but they got us on diversity. That's what it looks like they got us on. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Second war is a loss. Shake it off and we'll be back at it. All right. So take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.